curious, interesting, but telling. There's got to be more to it. And the person who knows that is Casey Jordan. She's a criminologist and investigative profiler and a behavioral analyst. Casey, you saw the list. Sure. You yeah. know their story. What do you make of that list and what they actually might have gotten out of those items? Well, I think we're all waiting with bated breath to find out the results of the forensic testing. Those reddish brown spots have got to be blood. And we want to know whose DNA is associated with that blood. I mean, if it is any of the victims, this is really bad for Brian Koberger. But even if it's just his own blood, the question is, why is he bleeding on a mattress cover or a pillowcase? Oh, could he have cut himself? You know, I want to say that with these gag orders, and all of this shit going on they better have this case and trial televised so that way we have information that comes out when it comes to this case if they want to have a gag order and have it as, as, as extensive as it is they better give us a trial that's televised so we have the first-hand knowledge words emotions and everything that went into those statements the 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 evidence and everything in regards to this case we deserve that if this is how it's going to be with the gag order you better you better televise this trial Self, but of all the things on that list, I'm going to argue that the hairs are the most important, and that possible single animal hair, if that traces back to Kaylee's dog, nail in the coffin, I think, uh, in terms of, of what Brian Cooper. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. That is what I.